Hi, this is Ben Tupper. What is a tessellation, and how can I make one? You're probably familiar with tessellations from those trippy MC Escher posters your roommate had in college. Wait a minute, that's not Escher. Strictly speaking, a tessellation is an arrangement of geometric tiles that completely covers a plane, with no gaps or overlaps. Escher's drawings do just that, only beautifully and intricately. Here the geometric tile is the lizard, and it completely covers the plane. No gaps, no overlaps. This tessellation looks complicated, but underneath this tessellation, and any tessellation, is a simple underlying structure. Let's look at the skeleton of a tessellation. We'll start by looking at a simple case, tiling a single polygon. Of the regular polygons, only three of them tessellate, the triangle, the square, and the hexagon. These three polygons are the building blocks of any periodic tessellation, including Escher's drawings. I want to show you two ways to make your own tessellations using Escher's drawings as models. Method 1. In Escher's drawing, Pegasus, the tiles are quite complicated, but the building block of the tessellation is simply a square. Connect the horse's noses here, and you draw a square. From this square, we can make our Pegasus. First, cut out a square of paper. We're going to follow one simple rule. Whatever you cut out from one side, you tape onto the other side. Top and bottom, side to side. Here's how to make the Pegasus. Trace and cut from one side, then tape onto the other. You can recut and retape an area that you've already cut. There's the top of the head. Here's the hind leg. And here come the front legs. Here's our Pegasus. Now we need to tile it. Our tiling pattern here is the same as for the square, just rows and columns. Method 2. In Escher's drawing bird number 40, you might notice a pattern different from the last tessellation. The building block of this tessellation is a triangle. Start by cutting out an equilateral triangle. Here's the cut and paste rule for our triangle. Anything you cut from one of the top sides, you paste on the other. As for the bottom, each half will take the other's excess. Anything you cut from one half, you paste on the other. From this triangle, we will make our bird. Trace and cut out the wings from the left side and tape them on the right. Cut out a nose from the right side and tape it on the left. From the bottom right, cut out a wing and tape it back on the bottom left. There's our bird. Since it's based on the triangle, it tiles like a triangle. And those are two ways to make tessellations. And there are many more. Play around and have fun. P.S. Here's a puzzle. Draw an arbitrary quadrilateral. Anything with four sides. Will it tile? Yes? No? Sometimes? Pause and think, and come back when you're ready for the answer. The answer is yes, always. Any quadrilateral can tessellate. I'm not going to show you a proof, but I'll give you a procedure for tessellating any quadrilateral. First, draw one. Make a copy and turn it over. Now place the shapes side by side. They should line up perfectly since their abutting edges are the same, only flipped. If you continue this procedure, you'll make a long chain of quadrilaterals, every other one upside down. Now copy your chain. The two chains will nuzzle snugly together like teddy bears.